Okay, so this was the order. And we discussed about it, but in reality, Luis is the one that came up with it and mainly. However, we all three agree that this is the order that it's more sound to us. And so the first part is uh, defining the context, which is basically having an idea on what you're working with, like the classroom, the students, like what are you working with? What is the first thing that you need to, uh, to keep in mind? From that, uh, you formulate the goals and objectives. That is more, it's more of uh, assessing the objectives that need to be met by the end of the course based on the syllabus, based on the subject at hand. And not only individual needs from the students as in particular needs they might have, but also the general needs that any, any group taking the course will need. And the outcomes in the next one, they assessing the needs of the students, both as individuals and both just as general students and what they're gonna need to do to meet the goals and objectives that we established. And I don't know if Luis would like to go from here. Um, so conceptualizing the con the content was, um, I thought that that would be the best next step considering that you have to like have in mind what you're trying to, once you, once you have like present what, what you're working with, uh, what you're trying to accomplish and like, like how you're going to go about doing it, uh, you need to start conceptualizing like exactly like what you're, what, uh, what your like syllabus is going to consist of in terms of content. So like, for example, like the types of units that you're going to cover the topics and stuff like that. Uh, from then, um, designing an assessment plan is, um, just thinking about like what, how, how you're going to go about evaluating everything. Once you, you're like, um, finish thinking about everything else you need to think. Okay. So like the approach that I'm going to take is I'm going to, uh, evaluate everything in terms of communication or like, you know, this one's most ba mostly based on the beliefs uh, and the goals of like the, the syllabus. And uh, we thought that developing materials should be like one of the last ones. We weren't sure if we, we should put it like seventh or eighth, uh, but we presume that since we already conceptualized the, the content, we, we might as well just make the, the materials. And then once, or, once organizing the course, we could like fit in the, whatever they, they, they're most appropriate. And that's it. First, uh, we agreed that assessing needs, that's the first thing we have to focus on because we don't know how and what we're going to teach if we don't know the needs that they are asking us, uh, maybe the students or it, the, the school itself. Then the context uh, that has to do with also the students, because I think that refers to like the class profile, right? For example, if they are adults, if they are children, um, all that. Then formulating goals and objectives, because obviously adults and children, they are not going to learn maybe the same way or the same things or same vocabulary. Uh, then articulating the leaves, because that's how you're going to approach the content of the class and your students, like the way you're going to be teaching them. Uh, conceptualizing the concepts and developing the materials, I think that goes hand in hand. Because <clears throat> conceptualizing the concepts, it's like an abstract view of what you're going to, to do in the class. And, develop, and yes, and developing the materials has to do with actually starting to design them and create them for your students. Then we create them and that's for our students. Then we have the designing assessment plan. Uh, and I think that's like the logical because now that you have the materials, you get to write them and give them a percentage. And finally, we have organizing the course because we already have all those in, on top. Uh, so you can start um, put them in order and give them our structure. Okay, uh, well, we decided to go with this order. Uh, first, define the context. I think that we couldn't decide whether which to put first, 
but uh, we put uh, defining the context uh, first because it's very important to know what you're going to talk about and then articulate your beliefs. As a teacher, it's very important and I think it's, uh, it's okay that we put it at the first one because you need to know uh, the principles you're going for with the syllabus. Um, and then we'll be assessing needs, like identify the needs of um, the class, your students and everything. And from there, you are able to start uh, formulating the goals and the objectives, like what, where you're going to and where you want to achieve. And then uh, conceptualizing the content, like now that you know the needs and the beliefs and the context and the objectives of, of the course, now you are uh, able to start thinking about the content. Um, then we put organizing the course. So with the content and the objectives and all, all that we already have, we will be able to do like an outline of, of the course. Then design an assessment plan. I, I, we, we thought that it was better to think first of how the course is gonna be organized and then uh, think about the assessment plan. And at the very end, we thought about developing the materials. So we can have all of the uh, of the other aspects in order to be able to develop accurate and uh, helpful materials for students. 